President Donald Trump issued a stark, grim warning to his country Saturday, trying to prepare the United States for what's going to come in the next week or so. As it really gets, this will be probably the toughest week between this week and next week. And there'll be a lot of death, unfortunately, but a lot less death, death than if this wasn't done. But there will be death. President Trump defended the White House's handling of the crisis, saying that the federal government had been meeting the demand and sending out the necessary supplies to governors and states across the country. But he said some states had been requesting too many medical supplies. He mentioned one unnamed state that requested 40,000 ventilators, something he said was an exaggeration. The governors of these states have a different story to tell, saying that the federal government, the White House, had been caught unawares by this crisis and has been slow to respond. President Trump said a thousand soldiers will deploy to New York state to help that part of the country as it reaches the crisis point. Trump compared it to going into battle. President Trump also said 40,000 Americans had been repatriated on 400 flights from 75 countries from across the planet. Trump also struck an optimistic tone, saying he wants to see the United States get ready to reopen for business. He said he wants to see that happen sooner rather than later. Toby Muse, CGTN, Washington.